What up, YouTube? Big Lou and Big Louise Coach Review back again with another review. And today we're here to do a little discussion and review on The Hanged. This is a mechanical tube mod that was released out of Canada by a man by the name of Maxim Dubé. Or Maxine Dubé. Uh, Max, he basically came out with The Wire Doctor. Everybody knows I use this wire. It's solid coarse, 316L stainless steel wire. Now, I swear by this wire. I love this wire. It's amazing for flavor, and it's amazing for its um, its responsiveness, basically. I mean, uh, I've got a 5-wrap, 21-gauge stainless steel on here right now. Hit the button, and it just starts, it just starts working. It's very responsive. It reacts. As soon as you hit that button... It just starts clouding, you know, so it just, it gets to the point of where I enjoy my vaping the moment I hit my button. Now, Maxime had come out with this mechanical mod and this RDA. Now, the RDA is real nice. It's a vertical clamp styled RDA. So it's kind of like a goon, but the goon is horizontal. This is vertical style, meaning you put your coil legs in this way and the clamps close this way. Okay. Um... I really, really enjoy doing builds on this RDA simply because the ease and comfort of putting fused Alien Clapton builds in here. Because what happens is with the Clapton builds on the Goon style, their, their metal plates, when you bring them all the way down, they have a tendency to squish the wire but not lock them in. So sometimes the legs move around a little bit in there and you go to push your coil over this way or that way, the coil leg comes out a little bit. And I know a lot of people have experienced what I'm experiencing. A lot of people just won't say it because the goon is very trendy right now. And I love the guys over at 528 Customs. I have no problems or issues with those guys. They're great guys. I love the guys of 528 Customs. But unfortunately, reviews have to be honest. And the goon, unfortunately, the legs come out. So this company on their RDA did something really cool. And I'm going to show you what they did to the plates. Because it has two plates on here for the clamp style. One on one side, one on the other. And these are silver plated stainless steel plates. Therefore, when you clamp them down, they won't bend, okay, which is nice. And so being that they're silver plated, they're more conductive, which is even nicer as well. Uh, the original predecessor RDA to this on the trial and error stage, they were silver plated copper plates. Whereas now they're stainless steel, which means they're stronger because they noticed the copper was bending on the plating. So to avoid the bending, they went to stainless steel plates. Uh, as far as the actual building deck itself, it is silver-plated stainless steel. It is very strong, very tough, very durable. Uh, we will go up close. We will check everything out. Now, as far as the mech, the mech is fucking cool. You got this huge engraving. Let me change focus so you can see this. You got this big engraving of a noose. See the noose? That's engraved. That's not laser etched. That's literally engraved into the brass mod. And just so some people could see, because some people have not been able to notice the venting on it, you do have a crossbone styled X where the venting is. So in other words, when you put your batteries in here, you got to put your batteries in positive side down. Okay. Some people have said, well, it doesn't really matter how you put the battery. Well, if you want to follow the course of venting, you know, you'd have to put the positive in the direction of where the venting goes you know if you look at a, a mod like the rogue mod the venting is up top okay so when you put a battery in the rogue mod the positive goes towards the rda you put a battery in this one i would say it's best or in your best interest to put the positive towards the crossbones towards the venting basically and that goes for any mechanical tube mod you own today, you know, always put the positive towards the venting. Now, uh, Max, when he came out with this RDA and this mechanical tube, he wanted to come out with it where it's matchy matchy. So this is pretty matchy. Okay, this matches the cop. The cop they have it in copper, stainless steel, and brass. I got the brass because I love the way that brass looks. I got my uh, suck it drip tips up top, which just so you know. Uh, the RDA drip tip fit. It fits any goon style RDA 
uh, dripper cap or uh, any Kennedy style drip tip. Okay, They'll, it'll basically fit in this, it'll be compatible. So if you have a drip tip for your Kennedy or your Goon, it will fit up here. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I was lucky enough to get number triple zero. So I'm like, this is the very first one made. You know, that's insanity. I think that's pretty cool. I never had a triple zero in anything. So I managed to get number triple zero on the mechanical tube mod. Uh, the RDA, I'm not actually sure what number I got unless I, I look at it. Let's see. Just have a look-see. Yeah, I got number 18. Not bad, okay? Um, as far as anything else goes, really, I mean, this mechanical tube mod set combo will cost you roughly about 200 bucks. Now, finding them online is difficult because this guy is out of Canada, and Canada, from what I hear, is not allowed to sell vaping products retail online so i'm gonna leave a bunch of links in the description as to where you can pick up this mechanical mod and this rda now he only made limited batches he made 333 mechanical mods in each style of color so you have copper you have stainless and brass you have 333 made of each so these are unlimited runs and very very hard to come by very hard to come by these mods so my best suggestion to you is if you can get your hands on one of these pick it up it's got a really nice throw in the button it has a spring which in the switch now a lot of people are like oh i don't like springs i like magnets this is a four pound spring it's not extremely hard and it's not extremely loose you know, whereas a lot of cases, you know, a lot of buttons that have springs today are either mega hard, which I like mega hard, but I don't like mushy. This spring isn't mushy. Four pounds is actually a good amount of um, uh, tension in this spring, basically. And the reason why I know that is because if I put the weight, if I balance the weight of this on my finger, it's not going to fire. So I know that if this is freestanding on the table, it's not going to fire on its own because the weight of the mod won't force that button up to hit it and it's got a little bit of a throw you know it goes in a bit basically you know you can see how much it goes in but when it goes in it's very responsive i mean it's very quick i mean it just chucks this is actually a really nice mechanical tube bob 120 american dollars for this mechanical tube mod if you get the rda with it it's 200 dollars altogether so the cost of what most mechanical tube mods go for to today you can get the rda that matches it along with the mech so 200 bucks for a combo like this is insane you know uh, i gotta i gotta commend maxime on this he did a really really good job with designing this with the logo the beveled edge at the bottom, the beveled edge at the top. This is a 26 millimeter in diameter me mechanical tube mod. But since it's got that little beveled edge at the top and the bottom, first of all, the beveled edge makes it really comfortable on your finger. When you're placing your finger at the end of the tube mod, there's nothing to dig into your finger, so that feels nice. And then up top, if you have a 24 millimeter RDA, that beveled edge gives it a nice clean approach to where the RDA is. You know, so this is pretty much the only setup I'll only always ever rock on here. I'll never put another RDA on here because it makes no sense. With this setup, I'm happy as hell. It's just very, very nice. And another nice incentive about this is the spring where it sits within the switch, it's isolated by Delrin around it. So the spring is not conductive. The spring is just there to perform as a spring. It's not there to be conductive at all. So there's no conductivity and in the spring, and there's no hot button. Currently, I got a 5-wrap, 21-gauge, around a 2.5-millimeter screwdriver, and it's dual coil. with nice and set. They're nice and centered. And they just fucking vape. I'm running dry right now, too. This is dry. Let me drip this up. But it's, it, it vapes so nicely. So nicely. You know? Let's see, fill this up. Right now, I'm vaping on a bunch of different liquids. I keep switching back and forth. Uh, this company right here, Mania or ADD, I think that's the name of the company, ADD. It's a juice that was put out by Vape Models and Ronin Vape. Uh, it's incredible. The flavors in this line, 
I've been like gobbling up the flavors all weekend. I, I can't stop vaping them. They're just delicious. That's the name of the company. ADD. This one is called Man Mania or Mania. I don't know. But either way, 7030. It's so good. If you could find it out there, holy shit, get it. Yeah, this is just super responsive. Hit the button. It just instantly fires, instantly ramps up. Mm, so, so nice. Such a good vape. I mean, I got no complaints at all. This is delicious, this vape. This works amazingly. Let's dive up close. Let's check out the Switch, the Mech Tube, and everything it represents. Let's do that. So what we got here is we got our crossbone box, okay? Uh, they, it's from Deathwish Mods, basically. So that is the name of the company right there, Deathwish Mods. It says Mods up top. And I believe that says 2016, okay? Uh, MMXV1, I believe that says 2016, okay? So this is the new box, basically. They had a predecessor to this box when they released the prototype version, and this was the original size of the first box. But you can see, if you come across this box out there, you can see this box is much bigger. It's definitely wider, so it's definitely a much bigger box, okay? Uh, I have a mod in here that is the prototype mod, that I keep bagged in his little Ziploc bag to keep it shiny and new, basically. This is, uh, I believe, number five. So uh, that's interesting, okay? So um, they have a much deeper engraving on the noose that's on the mod itself. So you can see there is a, mod, there is a noose on the mod right there, and they did a much deeper engraving on it. And this is a hybrid connected mod. So you do have a hybrid connection up top, this is a very solid piece of brass. I have to add that in there because this is very solid. They have a nice beveled edge up top. This is 26 millimeters in diameter. So the, 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 the diameter of this mod is 26 millimeter and you could put a 24 millimeter up top. You can see where it bevels in at the top right there and it meets perfectly flush with the 24 millimeter diameter RDA. So here you can see much better the engraving on the mechanical tube mod and the engraving is done really really well especially with the word the words itself where it says the hanged okay very nice font they used and here is our crossbones right there that is our crossbones venting okay so when you throw a battery in this mechanical tube mod be please be sure to drop it in positive facing the switch because that is where your battery venting is. Uh, like I said previously, on the Rogue mod, the battery venting is at, is at top. So you want your um, battery to be positive up on the Rogue mod, okay? This mod is it for me. 26 millimeters in diameter. It's a nice thickness. It has a great button. The switch on here is just great. Even though you have that much of a distance before it fires... I don't mind that. Usually I like a hair trigger throw. Like I like moving it just a tiny bit, like just a hair to fire my devices. This one, I don't mind having to push it that far. I really don't. You know, it's actually a really nice, comfortable throw in a switch. Now the switch, I like to show you what the switch consists of. Brass contact brass body everything about this switch is brass okay so let me just remove this contact so we have a solid brass contact up top and you can see it does have two vent holes there which i use the i use these uh tweezers to basically stick in the vent holes when i want to unscrew my contact basically so it's just easier to grab this way for me you know if i if I stick these in the holes and just grab onto it, it's, it's just easier to unscrew and it's easier for me to wrench down my contact to make sure it doesn't loosen up or anything like that. But, you know, there's a few scratches in there. That's from my own stupidity, from, uh, you know, trying to back out the screw and everything and using screwdrivers and, you know, just 
all stupid shit, but I should have been using this the whole time, basically. And this just makes it so much easier to get a hold of the contact and back it out. Now, solid brass, very conductive, very nice, right? Then the bottom portion of the switch, which is the bottom part, the complete bottom piece itself, it is lined with Delrin. You can see there was Delrin lined in there, and it's lined in a formation where it supports the spring. The spring will sit nicely in that Delrin right there. And when the spring is in this switch, it is not conductive. There's no conductivity in the spring. The spring is there just acting as a spring. You can see up top, there's the top part of our switch. It is lined with Delrin on the bottom as well. We have a male brass fitting in the center of our switch, which has like a plus sign to it. Whereas the female end is on the top part of the switch. Obviously, we just basically stick the male through the female and comes through the top. Okay, we have Delrin on the top of the switch as well for the battery, uh, for the positive portion of the battery to rest on the Delrin. So this way, because this just gives a little gap, you can see it just sticks out past the brass just a little bit, just to give it a little gap. Because when you put the positive contact in there, it's sitting in this cup, basically. So now you can see the contact is resting below the Delrin. Okay? So when your battery's um, in your mod, you basically have an open circuit. And, you know, you just basically compress your switch once it's mounted, and you'll close the circuit. Now, the throw with this spring, it's four pounds of pressure to compress this spring. But I gotta say, it's, it's nice. You know, I'm so used to having very tight throws on my switches and buttons and so forth. And I'm really appreciating the throw on this. The throw is really nice. It's really nice throw. Now on the inside, kind of like the Rogue and kind of like the TVL mod itself, you can see the threads on the inside. Very, very clean. Very thick. This is a very thick piece of brass, but it's very nice. It has a solid, nice weight to it. You know, 120 bucks for this mechanical tube mod, and it's just unbelievable. It just feels really nice. You feel like you bought a $300 mod for 120 bucks. okay? Once again, here's the beveled edges up top to accommodate from 26 millimeter to 24 millimeter. And you got it on the bottom as well. The reason why it's beveled on the bottom is not just to match just the top, but it's there for comfort as well. So if you throw a battery in, positive down, uh, uh, negative towards the 510, positive towards the switch. It's there mainly for, if you're holding your mod, most people hold it like this. Instead of having a flat piece of brass here digging into your finger, it's beveled to when you put your index finger on there, it sits on there, and you push it in, there's no like discomfort firing this button. And it's very, very responsive. The moment you touch is the moment you're firing. Now, looking at the bottom of the RDA, you can see that there is a flathead screw right there. That flathead screw serves a purpose. Uh, for what that flathead screw does, it actually holds in the negative post. Okay, the negative post is mounted in with that flathead screw. It's not milled into the deck, these posts. Okay, there's a reason for that. All right, there's always a reason for that. Now, you can see on the inside of the building deck itself, we have a five millimeter uh, deep juice well, which is real nice. It does have an engraving, not a, not a laser etching, but an engraving that says Death Wish Mods. We have a two post RDA vertical clamp styles with flat head screws, uh, two O-rings, and then there's a deck at the bottom of the RDA in which your cap will rest on. And once again, it says Death Wish Mods 2016. And I got to say, this is the easiest 
to do a build on and the most comfort and it's just flat out fun now if in the event you have an RDA and you, you have this RDA and you want to throw it on another mechanical tube mod and you don't like the way it's sitting the pin you can just take your flathead screwdriver and back out the pin okay as long as this pin is making contact with the female screw that's on the inside you're good you could adjust this pin any way you like and you're still getting great conductivity me on the other hand I feel this sticks out enough from the RDA you can see right there it's about an eighth of an inch or no actually probably like three sixteenths of an inch it sticks out past the 510 connection and for me that's good enough uh, it's just as long as this pin is not sunk in beyond the Delrin whereas the only thing making contact to the battery is here you know we have a uh, full stainless steel RDA but it's a silver plated stainless steel RDA so the conductivity in this is very nice and it's very strong when you go to wrench down your clamping walls which are right here these plates of the clamp when you go to wrench them down they're not going anywhere and you can even see at a slight angle the inside of my plate over there so if you see the inside of my plate right here see some markings in there that's knurling they etched in or carved in some knurling on the inside of the plate so it'll better grip the wires when you stick them in there because my goon style rda and other rdas that are goon styled when i put coil legs in there in their rdas the legs are loose and they pop out whereas this one when i wrench it in it ain't going anywhere it ain't moving Let's check out the knurling. I just wanted to put focus on the plates on this clamp style RDA. On the inside portion of those plates, you can see here there's X's that are notched into the plating. The reason for those X's is because they wanted to create a knurling. And when you put your coil legs in there and you close the clamp down, it will basically have a better grip on the coil legs. Because even on the goon, you put a build in a goon and the coil legs pull out as soon as you start centering your coils whereas this one you wrench it the fuck down it ain't going anywhere i wanted to show you guys the different variations of airflow on this airflow control cap basically now you have the upside down or the inverted crosses basically right and if you turn your top drip tip you'll be turning the inner airflow control you also have a vertical hole, which is dual coil. All these airflow options are dual coil. You can see right through there, basically. Keep turning. You have horizontal, which I rarely use the horizontal on here because I think it's a, little, it's a little tight on horizontal, but that tightness is good for those flavor chasers out there. If you got a flavor build, a really nice uh, Alien Clapton build, or staple or caterpillar, caterpillar coil build, whatever the fuck they are. If you got some sort of crazy flavor chasing build, then by all means go ahead and use it. And back to the inverted cross. I love the inverted cross. Uh, the inverted cross just, I get the best restriction for my type of my style of vaping and the best flavor. And once again, you have a hand as coming up out of the ground, basically. This is the unholy RDA. Now, the inner cap is removable. You can see all the different styles. You have a single O-ring in there. Um, once again, like I said, I like the inverted cross the best. Drip tip is removable, basically. This is a Kennedy style or Goon style drip tip, basically. Uh, they put a lot of work and effort into the drip tip that comes with this and it's actually a nice good feeling RDA Okay, there is a single o-ring on the inside as well to hold in and make the drip tip secure, but if you have a Kennedy style drip tip like this one I have this is my um, Suck it drip tips by dr. Handcrafted. I like this color theme simply because it looks good with brass and it's very comfortable on the mouth. These are hand lathe acrylic drip tips. But if you don't have the means for that type of drip tip, the drip tip that does come with this is a very nice drip tip. 
you're really going to enjoy using this airflow control and this tip. This is a very nice RDA. Today's juice of choice is Hyper by ADD. It's put out by Ronin and Vape Models out of Los Angeles. Uh, 70 VG, 30 PG. Uh, this is probably one of the best flavors I've been vaping on right now. If you could find this, I say pick it up. It's just fucking delicious. It's just so responsive. It's such a nice brass mod. Of all my brass mods, this is my current favorite. Uh, I've got another one coming in the mail. And, um, and currently I have another brass mod. The Spartan. This is pretty good. I'm going to use it this whole week to tell you what I think about it, basically. Uh, I like to, you know... Put these mods through the test to see if they're worth picking up. You know, if you're going to spend the money on them, I want to know if they're worthy of their price, basically. So I picked that one up recently, but this, this is great. Feels great in the hand, 26 millimeter in diameter. The matching RDA, it's great. It comes in copper, stainless, and brass. Um, you know, 120 bucks for the Mac, another $80 for the RDA, $200 complete package. That's not bad, people. And this thing is fucking nice. Mmm. Mmm. This fucking juice is just... This ADD Hyper. They got, like, a whole bunch of juice in the line. They got another one called Limitless. They have another one called Mania, which I love Mania. Mania is dope. And then my ultimate 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 favorite that i'm nursing right now because i don't want to finish the bottle om chi it's mochi japanese ice cream that's wrapped in like uh like some sort of rice dough and it's got like green tea flavor with like a hint of chocolate a hint of strawberry every time you vape it you get like this new subtle hint of flavor and it's this is such an amazing pleasure to vape, as well as all the other flavors in this line. I'm like dumbfounded how amazing these flavors taste. But Hyper, though, I can fucking drink this bottle. I could just totally drink it. It's, wow. Ronin and, um, and Vape Models, they did an amazing job on those juices. And this fucking mod, Max, bro... I know you invested every single dollar you ever made with The Wire Doctor. This company right here, The Wire Doctor Wire, this is his wire company. Every single dollar he's ever made, he invested into this. He didn't go out and buy a car. He didn't go out and buy a house. He didn't go to bar. He didn't go to titty bar. He didn't go spend money everywhere. He saved every single dollar he ever made and put it into this. And I got to commend him. I mean... I can understand if you put all this money into something and the product was like, eh, that would suck. This is a great mechanical mod. This is a great RDA. Silver plated stainless steel, vertical uh, goon style clamps, the ease and comfort of closing the clamps on the coil legs with the inner knurling on the inner plates. They thought of everything, you know, adjustable pin, uh, nice beveled top and bottom. Nice, beautiful engraving, not laser etched, but engraving on the mechanical tube mod. It's got a nice, solid, heavy weight to it. And the price point, 120 bucks, super cheap. $80 for the RDA, $200 complete. You got yourself a killer setup for 200 bucks. For me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Down in the description down below, I will have where and who you can email to inquire about this setup. Like I said, it's very difficult to purchase online vaping products in Canada because they have all these regulations out there. But fortunately for you, I'll have the contact information down below as to who you can contact, where you can pick it up. From me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here.
Laters.